Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I wanted to do my February TBR. So, as I'm filming this, it is January, so I can't really let you know how I'm doing on my January TBR, but I will say I'm making progress. So, hopefully, by the time this goes up, I have at least finished, if not all, then maybe half the books I picked, because I'm trying to get to that halfway mark, <laughs> so we'll see. This is a new thing I'm trying out on my channel this year. Um, I put a bunch of prompts in this jar, and I pick them out, and I pair them with books that I think I would like to read. Granted, I will also say that I am going to be taking part in two readathons for February. As you know, February is Black History Month, so I'm going to take part in Blackathon and this other one I found for the culture readathon that I thought was pretty cool and um, it has like a bingo board based off black TV shows. Once I pick all my prompts and tell you the books I chose, I'll tell you the books I chose for those readathons too. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive right in and get to picking these prompts and then we'll go from there. I'm probably just gonna go easy and pick one from the top for this first one. And it is you focus, a five-star prediction. We are going to think about that because I don't know if I have a lot. Next prompt, I'm going to do this one. All right, so this one is, can you, um, a oldest book on TBR. So year year published or year bought. Ooh, okay, we'll look we'll look at that. That's gonna be a little difficult. Next I'm gonna do the middle here. Okay. What is this? Cell's pick. Okay, so Cell has to pick me a book to read in February. So let me go ahead and text them really quickly and We'll go from there. <laughs> That'll be perfect. So I went ahead and texted Cell, so hopefully they'll get back to me by the end of this video. If not, I'll let you know in some ad in and clip or something. All right, next, so we have three and then two more. I'm still gonna stick with the fi solid five that I've been picking for a minute. Um, okay. Oh, read a book with the first letter of your first and last name, so. That's interesting. And then one more prompt. Let's see. We're gonna go switch for the bottom, I guess. And pull this one. All right, and this one. Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> read a Cassie Clare book. So something I've been trying to do for a minute is read through Cassie Clare's books. And it's been a struggle, so. Kind of glad I pulled that prompt, but also like, okay. So, I'm gonna go pull books for this, and then I will be right back, okay? Okay. Alrighty, so I picked out some of my books. Um, some of them, I'm waiting on sales picks still, so I'll probably just end up adding a clip in later in this video with what they choose for me. And then for my oldest book, I'm just gonna scroll on Goodreads with y'all and we can check and see what Goodreads says. So first, I'm gonna show you my five-star prediction is going to be None Shall Sleep by Ellie Marnie. So from what I remember, this was sold to me as like The Naturals esque type book which I love that series so I went ahead and pulled this and it's a, supposedly about these two teens who I think it's like in based in the 1980s and they help solve um, cases based off like teen serial killers and so they get wrapped up in this one case where this one guy is playing like kind of a game with them and he gets very obsessed with the girl and she kind of gets more sucked into the case and him as she continues on. So that sounded really interesting and I didn't want to pull a fantasy, like I wanted to make sure I was pulling more things than just fantasy because I realized that's what I've been reading lately, which isn't a bad thing, but I want to mix it up because I have other things on my shelves. So I figured a thriller but would be fitting um, and I think I'll really enjoy this, hopefully. So. 
that's my pick. Next, I also have a book that starts with the first letter of my first or last name. So for that one, I chose Always and Forever Laura Jean. This is the last book in the To All the Boys I Love Before trilogy. And this I've been putting off for a while, but I want to finally read it so I can finally finish the last two movies and see how this series ends. Um, so I thought this was fitting and I hope I enjoy it, which is also fitting because I'm pretty sure I read each book so far in February, so this works for me. Alright, and then I pulled a Cassie Clare pick, which um, it was kind of hard because I was trying to decide if I wanted to start back over with the Mortal Instruments or just continue on where, with where I left off with the Infernal Devices, and I decided to do the Infernal Devices, and I'm going to do Clockwork Prince. The thing that I struggle with this one, I tried to listen to it on audio, and Ed Westwick's voice was just gross. <laughs> Did not want that in my ears, so I'm gonna try and read it physically and see how that goes I don't really know what to expect. It's been like a year since I read uh, Clockwork Angel But I kind of remember everything that happened so I'm here to continue on I don't think I want to reread that one because I didn't really like Tessa that much so It'll be interesting to see what happens in this one and as I open my phone Cell texted me with their pick and it's actually a pick I had a feeling they would pick for me, but I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt. Shouldn't have. The book they picked for me was The Beautiful Ones by Sylvia Moreno Garcia. This is like Cell's all time favorite book, or at least one of them. And I don't really know much about this. I know it's an adult fantasy that has like vampires in it I guess that's kind of all I really know and I don't really want to spoil myself by reading the synopsis so I'm just kind of going to go with that and see where it takes me um, it's pretty short so I'm not worried and it's my first Sylvia, Sylvia Moreno Garcia book and I noticed that she has a fan club a lot on book twitter like people like rave about her books so I'm intrigued to see if she is someone I'm going to like too now we're gonna go to Goodreads and I'll make sure to screen record. I'm gonna go ahead and do, let's do publishing date first just to see what, it's, what it shows me and then we'll go from there because <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna wanna, well, well, okay, let me go grab the book because I actually think I do want to read this. So this is, this will work for me I think. All right, and then, so the book that popped up high on my list, the earliest published book I have right now, is Pride and Prejudice um, by Jane Austen. We're gonna go with that. We're just gonna go with it. And that's what I'm gonna read. So I'm actually hyped for this, because I feel like February is a good month to read it and try it out and see if I would enjoy it as much as I enjoy the movie. I'm sure I will, but never know so I'm excited for that. all right and then next I have my TBR for Blackathon so I chose to be on team literary fiction contemporary nonfiction that whole team um, so the first prompt is a book that explores the duality of blood slash found family so um, I'm either gonna do blended or the evolution of Bertie Randolph, because both of these deal with um, family issues. I know Blended, I think it's about a girl whose parents are getting divorced, and so she's like dealing with that. And then Bertie Randolph, I think it's her trying to get out of her family's very tight hold on her life, and she's wanting to like be independent and kind of just discover who she is on her own, but her family won't let her. So these two I figured would be perfect. I'm just gonna probably decide once I get to them. So next is a book that is not set in the US, UK, or Canada. So for that one I chose um, A Psalm of Storms and Silence. This it does not take place in the US. I'm pretty sure it takes place in um, a certain part of like Africa or like a magical place that's like African inspired, I guess. Um, and this is the sequel to uh, a Song of Rights and Ruin, which I enjoyed for the most part, um, but I'm intrigued to see what happens in this story and how it ends, just based off of what happened in the first one. So, next is a book with neon on the cover. That was really hard because I don't have a lot of books with neon on the cover, but when I 
chose was Blood Like Magic by Lacelle Sambury. I remember when this came out last year and so many people were raving about it. So I definitely still want to give it a chance. Especially because I believe the sequel comes out this year. So it'll be interesting to see. The last one uh, is the group book which is... Girls Must Die Exhausted by Jane Allen. Um, I believe this is like a narrative about how um, black girls kind of have to have it all together. Um, like the job, the man, the, the look, everything. And they're expected to hold so much on their shoulders. And it's exhausting. So I think it's like along those narratives. I don't really know the specifics, but that's my TBR for Blackathon. And then um, for the Culture Readathon, technically, I could make a TBR, but I think I'm gonna just wing it and kind of just mood read that one because there are a lot of prompts on the bingo board and it could go any way. So I don't really want to plan that out too much. And then I also have the Next, a buzzword challenge for February, which is uh, me, you, she, her, him, he, there, we, us. So, like, possessives and pronouns. So, for that one, I chose We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. Um, this sounds interesting, and I figured it's about time that I try and pick it up. So, wish me luck on that. And then the last bonus book I have for my February TBR is League of Liars by Astrid Schultz. This comes out in February, so I would like to read it in the month that it releases. Uh, it sounds really interesting. It's about these kids who get wrapped up in like a jailbreak or something. I don't really know too, too much, but I figured I would give it a try and see if it's something I would enjoy. I liked Astrid Schultz debut book. I haven't read her second one yet, um, so I'm willing to give this one and try and see if it's one I like too. Alright, so that is my February TBR. Sorry, it was so chaotic. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, concerns, whatever, leave all that in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, please give it a good old thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are all some flowers in a world full of weeds. Um, I think it was like a book that starts with my first, fir a book that starts with the first or last letter of my name. No.